test, test, test. Hello guys, it's Francis and Dead again. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'd like to make a video um, regarding why the Chinese Communist Party still has power over China and uh, the, i like to outline the underlying causes and reasons why um, God can allow such um, wicked organization to take control of nearly half of the world's economy, population, as well as cultural influence. Um, first of all, let's uh, allow me to clarify that the Chinese commun the Chinese Communist Party, um, though evil, though wicked, it um, it may seem. It is not entirely the case. It um, it's done quite lots of um, you know good things. It's um, it's somehow has contributed to the over overall growth and the overall restoration of the Chinese um, um, vigor and vi vi uh, vitality. Um, you know, lots of things. It it re it relates to lots of positive changes that occurred in China. Uh, still, why uh, why it still has power? You might still ask. And uh, the why the Chinese Communist Party still has uh, assumed nearly total dominance of China, of nearly half of the world, and while. Um, while this, the uh, Soviet Union and uh, Eastern Europe, the, their, their communist parties have all fallen into total collapse and disintegration. And let me, let me tell you why. Let me uh, explain why it is the case. Uh, first of all, if you trace back, uh, you know, it, if you attempt to trace back the, the Asian Chinese culture to its very initial creation, you can see that there, uh, the, the Chinese creation goddess named Nuwa. It's uh, it's quite uh, it bears lots of resemblance to the Japanese Asian creation goddess named Himiko or the Amaterasu. Uh, Amaterasu or or we come. Uh, you can see the, uh, you know, their portraits as serpents, as viper, as snakes, and uh, according to, uh, you know, to the um, Christian Bible, New Testament, uh, you know, a book. Uh, I I can't recall the exact the exact chapter and verses, but. Once um, God said, "Your generations of snakes," uh, you know, and uh, that particular generation seems to refer to Shang, the one of the descendants of Noah, uh, and then they became they uh, eventually be, became the Chinese people, you know, the Chinese and ethnicity group of people. And uh, they uh, began. They, they began to worship Nuwa, the uh, Asian, the ancient Chinese creation goddess. And uh, you know, once you see that, they are in, they are effectively wor worshiping the serpent, the descendant, one of the descendants of Satan, the devil himself. Um, and uh, in Chinese culture, we we tend to. Um, uh, not we, but uh, I don't actually regard myself as a pure Chinese anymore. But once um, once you look into the Asian Chinese culture and uh, that even still exists today, you will begin to see the devil worshipping. You know, you begin to see the essence of that culture is effectively and actually devil worshipping. Um, why it is? Um, why is that? Why is that so? Um, you you see that um, Chinese culture, traditional Chinese culture or Japanese culture, it 
pretty much compels the younger generation to worship their parents, to especially to worship their fathers as God. And uh, you must comply with everything your old man tells you to do. Otherwise, you will be seen as traitor, as um, you know, renegade, as rebels, and uh, you will receive the you will receive complete annihilation from the ruling class, um, which also include your fathers. Um, yes. Uh, so you see that Chinese people they worship their parents, they wo they worship their um, Lao Tzu, Tao Tzu, and uh, their Asian creation goddess. And uh, you can also see the pictures. They, the portraits are the serpent, the vipers, it's itself or herself. I, 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 I don't care whichever you prefer to, to call it herself or itself, but regardless. And uh, I'm sure that you already found the answer to that. Okay, the next question. Why the Chinese Communist Party still has power? Why does it still has power and why um, Sorry, why uh, China hasn't still hasn't realized its democratic movement, still um, haven't made uh, entire democracy as their reality. Um, let me tell you, allow me to explain it to you. First of all, I would like you to open the Christian Bible uh, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter uh, chapter 13, verses 24 to 29. Sorry, verses 24 to 30. Let's see. Let's read it aloud with me. Parable. Um. Sorry. Is that parable or parable? Uh, parable. Yeah, it's parable. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, the parable of wheat and weeds. Here is another story Jesus told. The kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who planted good seed in his field. But that night, as the workers slept, his enemy came and planted seeds, planted weeds among the wheat, then slipped away. When the crop began to grow and produces grain, then weeds also grew. The, farmer work, the farmer's workers went to him and said, Sir, the field were planted, the, the field where you planted, that good seed is full of weeds. Where did they come from? An enemy has done this, the farmer exclaimed. Should we prove out the weeds? He asked. They asked. No, he replied. You will uproot the weed. In the meantime, if you do so, let both grow together until the harvest. Then I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, then tie them into bundles and burn them, and to put the wheat in the barn. What what, what did you see from this um, scriptures from from this text, this passage from the Gospel of Matthew? Let's say um, it's basically an analogy. Um, and the, the analogy can, contains two entities, two whole large entities, the Chinese Communist Party and the, uh, the ordinary Chinese people. Um, you can also uh, say that the, uh, the first en entity is to be the ruling class, the noble class, the Chinese ruling and noble class of China. And uh, the other one is the or ordinary Chinese citizen. And uh, why? Why Chinese Communist Party still has a, still has assumed nearly um, absolute power of, of China? They are the weeds. You, you, you see that they are um, the corruption within the party never ceases to run rampant nowadays. Even back. A couple of decades ago, it it's already been keep keeping running that rampant. The, the the corruption is to the core, um, 
there's no way we can actually redeem um, the party from absolute cor corruption because the party is the harbinger of Satan the devil. But also in the meantime, he the party it also rec it also represents the harbinger of God. Why is that so? It is because it's also the precursor of Jesus' return to the planet Earth. Once, you know, and the, the uh, Christians, especially Chinese Christians, who, um, been, who's been recently converted to Christians, they are the wheat. You know, once they, uh, let's see, let's say the uh, great famine, the great uh, cultural revolution, the, uh, you know, va various, various, numerous political movements carried out by the party has effectively um, annihilated the devil worshippers, the, you know, the cult, the, the so-called cults of China. They have, they've been effectively annihilated. And uh, their, the, their um, the next generations of people just don't um, they, 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 they just don't uh, most of them just don't don't know God and they don't know what faith hope love is and uh, you know but it's still it's far it's still far more far you know far easier for them to turn to God than their predecessors since their predecessors worshipped the wrong, the wrong deity, you know, they worship the descendants of Satan the devil, you know, which are Matthew, I'm oh sorry, Matthew, Nuwa, and uh, Amatelas. Okay, can you see that? I believe so. I believe you guys can already see the, the, the underlying truth there. And uh, yeah. And uh, the Christians, especially the Chinese Christians, are the, are the wheat. They must, which means they must be put growing together until wheat have, you know, until wheat have fully ripened and bearing, you know, start and uh, started to bear actual and uh, complete fruits you know you see that the war the lord's work hasn't complete it hasn't been done you can we cannot just remove this root of evil or let's say the uh, younger generations of Satan out of the equation we, we simply cannot remove this rogue element from the equation just yet because we need both of these two two elements to coexist until cer certain point where the group element, the positive ones, which represent the Chinese Christians, have fully the full Chinese Christianity have come to full realization. You see that it is it strikingly resembles the. Um, it strikingly resembles what you guys tell me the parable the parable of wheat and weeds can't you see that yes you can i i believe you you guys are intelligent enough are sufficiently intelligent to see the simple and the underlying truth behind it yes guys don't you see it Yes, and uh, it all it also bears striking re re resemblance to um, Exodus, you know where you know where where those um, you know those people of Israel they um, wander around the wilderness, and the older generation who still who still bore intense and deep love towards Egypt, they. Perished. They were left there to perish, and yet their their children managed to their their children still manage to reach the promised land because their children do not 
They did not look back. They did not look back. Striking resemblance, isn't it? Anyway, guys, I have done what I can to explain the truth, the truth, the underlying truth to you guys, and and uh, I thank you again for watching and listening. I'm your host, Francis Zendet. If you have any questions, feel free to post it be below this video clip. And if you have any comments, please also post it. Just don't post scans or spans. Um, uh, apart from that, I welcome all types of feedbacks. So, I'm your host, Francis Zendet. Signing off. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye. Cheers.